Jacob Reese Mogg. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Does my right honourable friend share my unease that a bank that has the government as its largest shareholder should close the account of a senior opposition politician? Will he use the government's shareholding to ensure that there is an inquiry into these circumstances? Because the subject data access request makes it clear, or certainly indicates, that it is the person concerned's political views that led to his cancellation. And does my right hon friend agree with me that however much we may find how much we may find them tiresome, members of the opposition deserve bank accounts? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Mr Speaker, it, it wouldn't be right if financial services were being denied to anyone exercising their right to lawful free speech. Uh, our new Financial Services and Markets Act put, puts in place new measures to ensure that politically exposed persons are being treated in an appropriate and proportionate manner. And having consulted on the payment services regulations, we are, we are in the process of cracking down on this practice by tightening the rules around account closures. But in the meantime, any individual can complain to the Financial Ombudsman Service, which has the power to direct a bank to reopen their account. 